episode 106. Are you ready to take your eBay business to the next level? Then hold on, because Ron and Ali are going to take you into the fast lane. With the latest tips and insights from some of the biggest and most successful sellers. Here on the So You Want to Sell on eBay podcast. Welcome once again to another episode of So You Want to Sell on eBay. I'm Ron LeBeau. And I'm Ali Young. From the fine state of Maryland, we have Lori Brill with us today. Lori, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Brilliant, Ali, well, good, Thailand? good. Yeah, Thailand's great. Good to have you with us, Lori. Thank you. Lori started selling on eBay for fun in 2007, but after becoming caretaker to her two-year-old granddaughter and 64-year-old mom in a two-month span, became more serious in 2009. She started selling women's clothing primarily, but has since ex- expanded into vintage and collectible items as well as other fun things. Love it. So, you know, this is such a common theme on the show here, Laurie, is people always start with fun. So they start like, they start around the house, they start like that, and, and then they sort of see that this thing actually works, and then they get a little bit more serious. So did, did you start collecting items from around your house as well? Yeah, that is exactly what I started doing, yes. Great. That was a... That was a prediction because, like Ali said, uh, I think I think the average is like ninety eight point nine seven six percent of all people that start on eBay start from around their house. I think that's the accurate number there. Point um, two three. Sure. You missed the point two I, three at the end. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> man. My bad. But it's cool. Yeah, so it's true. It, it is a fact. I mean, really, seriously, everybody that starts on eBay, you know, most people, I should say, most people that start on eBay start from selling things around their house and they realize that they could really build a small business out of it and then a bigger business and look where some of the people are selling hundreds of thousands of dollars a month on eBay. Agree. What got you started? My son had a video game that he no longer wanted, a handheld. And instead of going to somewhere like GameStop, He just said, hey, mom, why don't you try to sell this on eBay? And I looked at him like he had nine heads. But I sat down and I started learning how to do it. And I sold the game within like a 24 hour period. So it was really addictive at that point. (laughs) First hit, never look back. Exactly. (laughs) So did you have any computer skills? I mean, so this is a, a question we had not long ago that... Do you need real computer knowledge to be able to run something like eBay? I mean, did you find it hard at the beginning? I found it challenging simply because I was doing it completely on my own, step by step, teaching myself. But I had enough computer knowledge and skills that I was able to pull through. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Hey, and I'm on your Little Dove Trading Post eBay store, and wow, what a really nice store there. That's really cool. You got a lot of nice items there. Thank you. I appreciate that. Where do you source from, mainly? Everywhere. In the summer, it's more yard and garage sales. In the winter, it's more thrift stores. But I've done estate sales, auctions, things like that. Wow. That's really cool. And and I love, I'm just looking at this uh, Darth Vader shirt with uh, Princess <laughs> Leia. Uh, that's what she said. That's really cool. Uh, yeah, so... As we know, uh, you know, there are two schools of thought. Some people believe you have to niche down, and some people like yourself believe that uh, anything that sells is fair game. And I like, I like the way you, you think here. This is really cool. Um, and you, got, you take really awesome pictures as well, just so you know. Most of them could use work, I think. But that's one of my difficult points because I'm in such a small space right now, and I don't have a lot to work with. But thank you well, for the compliment. Yes, he's, yeah, he's and, nice like and that. You know, you know, the one thing that you did that a lot of people don't do is you took the picture and you posted it anyhow. Ali and I, we're like perfectionists, right? It took us, <laughs> it took us three months to start this podcast show because it wasn't exactly perfect. And yeah. you know what? 106 episodes later, it's still not 100% perfect. L- far from it. But, you know, you did what you had to do. You posted it. You got it. You got them up there on eBay. That's really well, cool. Do me any good sitting here not being posted at least. No, exactly. Yeah, that's what I kept telling Ali. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah you're right, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, exactly. You've got to just get it up there. And, I mean, it's obviously working for you. They're, they're selling, and at least people can see the quality of the items. So so you, you mentioned that you're in a small room. So do you do you pretty much have everything in there, or do you have somewhere that you can store this stuff as well? Or My storage is actually my bedroom. Nice. It's the closets are full. There are bins everywhere. <laughs> I need to put it to get it out of the way. 
Yeah. But I do take the pictures in the downstairs area. Gee, well, okay. Well, at least cool. you know where everything is. Not really, but I try. <laughs> wow, man. You know what? That is a huge deal. Because here's the thing, right? So one of my biggest questions for eBay sellers is, you know, if I buy this particular item, how do you know where to find it? Or, or does it take you a little while to find it? And Generally, I pretty well know where everything is. If I've had something for a little bit longer, sometimes it's a little harder to find just because I'm stashing stuff literally everywhere. <laughs> wow. Nice. So, so, so what's your sort of um, routine then? So you're going out to thrifting and you're then coming back, you're taking the picture. So you're doing basically all of this on your own, yeah? I do this 100% on my own. Wow, I don't know you have time. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot of percentage right there. I don't I'm even have time man. to play golf and work. Jeez. <laughs> I understand <Yeah>. that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, it looks like you really have a, a really good business going here. How, and you've been doing it since 2009 pretty seriously, right? Correct. Wow. Is it your sole source of income? I mean, I'm just as far as work goes. I mean, I'm just, is it uh, your your only job? Is it you're doing it full time, right? Yes. I try to do it as full time as I can, along with taking care of the family. Yeah. Right. Yes, it's my sole source of income. That is That is incredible. And you know what? A lot of people listening to this show might realize that, you know, from your testimony here that, you know, it can be done. I mean, obviously we, we, we are very, uh, entrepreneurial spirited people here. And, uh, we believe that, you know, you can, you know, do this. Um, you know, it might take some time now I'm not saying or suggesting anyone quit their job today, but if you're out there and you're thinking, you know, Hey, you know, I want to see if I can make a $500 extra a month, do it, try it, um, from around the house there and then build your business. Absolutely. That's what I did. So what was your pitfalls? Yeah. I mean, what, what was your sort of, as a new person, what, what was your sort of the biggest problems you found while doing this? Just initially not knowing what to look for, because at that time I didn't belong to Facebook. There weren't groups. There weren't people to help. Um, I had no idea what to look for. So I kind of started looking for things that I knew at least a little bit about. So mm -hmm. I started with folks. Yeah, and you know what? You you people who started like back in 2009. I mean, that was eight years ago, right? And you know, they didn't have the same tools that the people starting today have. You know, it's really kind of inspiring to us when we hear people like yourself. You know, um, actually had to do a lot of things manually. You know, you were taking pictures. You know, in 2009, you were probably taking pictures with a regular camera. You might be using a smartphone now. I don't know, but you know, I mean, just all the tools back then were. A lot, a lot different than they are right now. I think so as well. Um, and now part of the most fun and positive thing for me now is that I do belong to some really great Facebook groups. I've met some really great people through them, and they're very, very helpful with everything. And that's huge to me. And I'm sure you're the kind of person that helps out as well. I mean, you know what? There's a lot of people like yourself out there that, uh, you know, answer the Facebook posts and things that, uh, you know, that really, really help the beginners. And, and you know, that's another thing I would say if you're out there and you're beginning a, an eBay business, uh, you know, go to those Facebook groups. The people like uh, Lori are out there to help you. Um, and it's just kind of a nice way to, you know, get, get a good start. Yeah? Yes, I agree. Yeah. I, I'm definitely... Helping anyone I can, if I have anything that I can share, I try to do it. Um, I've gotten a lot of help along the way, so I'm certainly willing to pay that forward. That's the way it works, isn't it? That community stuff. So we're, we're great at it. So you've got some real funky sort of stuff here. I mean, how do you know? I just The thing I've never got my mind around is I'm, I'm, start, I'm envisioning myself in this thrifting store. There's billions of jumpers and shirts and stuff. I mean... It must be like a tear tiresome going through each one. How do you know that this red dotted pinky thing is going to make money? I mean, what, what's your secret to that madness? I, you know, I actually think I have a good eye for finding things. Mm -hmm. If I find something in, I think, oh, I remember that from 20 years ago. There's got to be someone else out there like me, and they would love that. Or right. simply something unusual or vintage. Vintage is making a huge comeback. So... I just feel like I have a good eye for it for some reason. I don't find a lot of what they call holy grails, but I've found several. So I'm really, I just don't know. I don't know how I do it, but I feel like I have a good eye for it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's cool. Plus, you know, obviously you love what you're doing, right? I mean, you have to have a passion for this. I mean, this is not something, in my opinion, you tell me if I'm wrong, but this is not something for the lighthearted person. I mean, this is for someone who really, really loves what they're doing here. Is that correct? 
I completely agree. I'm hardcore. I love to go thrifting. Oh, nice. Yeah, I bet you are. I love to go to garage sales. I'm up at 6 o'clock on Saturday morning, and I'm ready to roll. I <laughs> that, that is awesome. My hardcore. Hardest, <laughs> my hardest part of this job is the bookkeeping. That's what I'm the worst at. Mm. But I love every other aspect of it. So, yeah, have you ever heard of, like, My Cost Pro? I have not. Yeah, it's a really cool uh, spreadsheet app, actually, and it's out there right now. I mean, we can. Have, I think we're going to have a post on it on our website, Ali, right? Yeah, 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 something like that. Yeah, so check that out. I mean, seriously, it, it really helps people like you with uh, the, the whole bookkeeping thing because, obviously, you know, many of the people that we interview and other, you know, just have conversations with always tell us that that is the hardest part. It's the part they dread the most, mm-hmm. you know, so – um, really, really, it definitely helps take the, the painstaking, uh, you know, numbers part of it out of the equation for you. Yeah, that, let's face it, that's the boring part, isn't it? The, the good part is going out, finding this wonderful stuff, making the ka Who wants to do finances? Exactly. You know, so yep. le- leave it as something else. Is- Ron and Ali will be right back after this short break. Do you want to set yourself apart from other eBay sellers? Want to look like one of the big brands? How would you like to feel confident that you could do it yourself, but know that the support is there if you get stuck? Now you can create your branded eBay store and have your store doing more. With Auction Pro Templates Premium Do-It-Yourself eBay Template, this template is loaded with tools and features you won't find in any other system. Go to yourstoredoingmore.com now to see what's included. That's yourstoredoingmore.com. Be sure to check out so you want to sell on eBay.com for the latest podcasts and all the information you need to get selling fast. So that's brilliant. So you're you're um you're going to the shipping every day. You're you're doing that as well, are you? I mean, do you ever have like a day off? If I'm away from home, then yes. Otherwise, no. Um, I work seven days a week. You know, sometimes. 10 hours a day. It's not easy, but I love it, and it pays the bills. Um, And I just really, really enjoy what I do. It's something, it's the thrill of the hunt, like everybody else says. Mm. And when you find something that you know, oh, that is a score, (laughs) it it comes Yeah, Yeah, your adrenaline gets Uh. going again, doesn't it? Absolutely. So I cannot wait to go to the next sale. And when when I do miss something... Or I've seen something online that they had at the sale. If I'm not there and I don't get it, I'm like, you know. You know what, Ali? I don't know that I want to be her competition no, in Ireland I'm scared, in, in a thrift yeah. store, man. <laughs> I'm serious, man. I mean, that's, you know, Lori, Lori seems to be one of these people that really take this stuff seriously. Yeah, I mean, you, you love know, it. it's just, uh, I do. that's awesome. I love, I love it. But actually, I'm not in Maryland now. I'm in Pennsylvania, however. Right. Oh well. Okay. Well, <laughs> Pennsylvania either. But thanks for the warning. I don't. Yeah. I don't think I'll be shopping in Pennsylvania anytime soon. I could, but I can uh, see the passion, and and that's the that's the thing that makes that's why someone like yourself is successful at this because you have that passion. You want to make this work, you know. And I think it's brilliant, like Ron says. And you got such a variety. So, do you only sell your items, or do you have other people bring you eBay items that you sell for them as well? No, I do not. It's just my stuff that I buy and, and I find. And um, I'm not sure that I would really want to sell for anyone else because I'm too picky. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what, yeah. So. Yeah, I get you. I get it. I get it. Well, let, let's change the subject just for a minute here and talk about systems. I mean, obviously, when you very first started, you had no systems in place, I'm sure. And you've come a long way since then. Tell us your secret about uh, systems. What does your day look like in what was that? Secrets. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that almost sounded bad. Anyhow, yeah. So, uh, what what kind of systems do you have in place that help your day, you know, be a little bit more productive? I think the best thing for me is to simply take pictures of the same types of items. If I'm doing clothing, then I'll do just t-shirts, or I'll do just dresses, or whatever. If I'm doing craft kits, then I'll just do craft kits. So if I take a lot of those pictures at once, then I sit down, I'm able to list them at once, I hit sell similar, and then I can just breeze through the next one. So that's a big big thing for me. I try to do maybe 10 at a time just so it's manageable and I'm not getting bored and I'm not getting stiff and I'm not getting tired. 
and that way it, I do it in small chunks. And that way I, I can just keep going with it. I try to list between five and 10 a day, as long as I'm home, that's my goal. And I, yep. I, I much stick with that. Fair yeah. Enough. It sounds like a good goal, right? <laughs> Sounds awesome. But I, I like the you way know, you I like the way you talked about you do the similar item thing, you know, because you if you're doing like you're talking like so if you had ten T shirts, you do all the T T shirts at the same time and that way you don't have to change everything around, yeah? Yes. I, I think it's so much easier that way. And I'm mm. sure a lot a lot of people do that as well. Um, I just find that I really I have to keep focused like that and that's the best way for me to do it. Mm. That's a no good doubt. idea. No, no, it's, a, it's a great idea. And do you do the most expensive item first? No. No. You just do it in those sets. Whatever, however it comes up, that's how I do it. Nice. Yeah, and so I know this. I noticed that you do buy it nows and auctions. Do you have a preference? You know, generally I do not run auctions, but I decided to just throw up some 99 cent auctions to clear out some old inventory. I'm getting ready to move next month, and I just don't want to take it all with me. Yeah. So I'm trying to unload some things. My preference is buy it now with best offer. Right. Wow. And okay, you, that's cool. And do you find people use that best offer? Do you find that people actually say, hey, I'll give you X amount for it? I would say 80% of my sales, 75 to 80% are best offer sales, yes. Oh, wow. See, that's really good information there, you know, because it's like, I suppose if you're not sure what the price is, put that on there and they'll sort of, you know, offer you something. Exactly. If I know I have something that's rare or is hard to find, or I think I'm going to get who knows what for, I will auction that. But as a general rule, I, I pretty much stay away from auctions. Mm. I mean, in the old days, I imagine when you first started it, everything was auctions. It wasn't really buy it now. You know, it was like, that's the thrill of the auctioning. But now everybody wants it instantly. Yes. <laughs> That's, That's the, true. The day and age we live in. So have you seen changes over the years? Have you, uh, do you think that um, you know, some of the tools that you use now are more easier than they were before? I've seen changes, yes. I think mostly it's eBay changes. And my feeling is you have to keep up with that. Mm. If you don't keep up with that, you're just going to sink. Yeah. So you know, I, I do go through and I will adjust titles and I'll retake pictures and I'll, I'll rework everything. If it's been sitting there for a while and I, I just haven't gotten rid of it, um, I kind of look at it. I've already done the work. I hate to just donate it back because the work's already done. Yep. I suppose so, that's what's good about those forums and those uh, Facebook groups, you know. I bet, I bet that, that works out good for you. You know, yes. it, being able to keep up with those changes, being able to say, hey, what's this new new thing? Absolutely. It, it's been a great bit. I know that I feel like they're really trying to boost sellers right now. Um, yeah. I used to do, um, I used to list with the service, but I don't do that anymore. Um, you know, so there's, there's a lot of different things, but I can't really specifically point out one thing and say, I think this is huge. This has really helped. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate that. But, you know, I, I guess what, I guess my point was is that, I think eBay has come a long way. I mean, when we started doing this just a couple of years ago, um, you know, it wasn't favorable for the eBay seller in a lot of ways. And I think uh, eBay has really turned that around and uh, and done a, a really good job of making the uh, eBay seller feel that love that eBay is showing them uh, recently. Absolutely. I agree with that. I actually had a conversation with an eBay employee today because of an issue that I had, and it was solved in 10 minutes. So that was really helpful to me for one thing, but I really like the hustle and, and seeing that get done so quickly. Yeah, no, absolutely. That sounds awesome. I mean, you know, really you got to know that they're, they're behind you. I mean, obviously they do have to, you know, they have to support the customers as well, sure. but I know there was a period of time that the, uh, the sellers just weren't feeling a whole lot of love. And I'm, I'm glad that got turned around, you know, I, I would say in a fairly recent, a fairly, uh, uh, good amount of time. Yes. I, I agree with that as well. Now, do you find yourself going to conferences or anything like that? You know, honestly, um, because I'm single and I'm supporting my family of four, I don't really have the money to do that. Right. So I have right. not taken advantage of that, although I would like to one day. Um, well, but, yeah, hopefully one day. That's cool. That's cool. I mean, you know, obviously there are, there are a lot of conferences out there, hopefully one in your area that maybe you can get to here soon. Um, yeah, so – you know, uh, how's it been for you as far as like selling recently? I mean, you know, where, where, what have you been doing lately that uh, has, uh, have you changed anything in, in the way you've done things? 
I don't think I've necessarily changed a lot. Uh, I think I am selling well at this point. I feel like my sales are pretty good. Of course, there's always ups and downs, ebb and flow, but right now my sales have been pretty consistent and I'm, I'm happy with them. However, when I move in June, I actually do want to kick it up a notch and I want to expand the business because I'll have the room to do that for one thing. Um, but, you know, I think things are going well at this point. I can't sit here and complain and I don't want to sit here and complain because that doesn't help anything. You right. know, I'd rather, I'd rather get out there and do what I need to do. So overall, I'm really happy with it. And I, I am in the promoted listings now also. And I think that's helped my sales a lot as well. That's cool. Now, you mentioned that you're moving in June. Uh, where are you going? Dun, dun, am- dun. Oh, Virginia. Wow. Okay. Any particular interest there? Yes. I have been in a long distance relationship for 15 years and we've driven back and forth between Pennsylvania and Virginia. And my daughter is finally graduating from high school this year and I feel like it's time for me to make a move. So. Well, very nice. That's awesome. And you know what? That's another neat thing about eBay is that you can easily carry your laptop with you and do business from anywhere in the world. Absolutely. That's one of the best things about it. And then you've right. got the thrift stores in Virginia. <laughs> They've got yeah. some new shopping <laughs> experiences. <laughs> That's cool. You need, to, you need to call them in advance. I think, yeah. Lori, you know, just in all fairness to them, you need to give them a heads up your head in that way. <laughs> give them a warning. The tornado's coming. Oh, is it? Wow. Yeah, that's right. There you go. That's your new nickname, the tornado. <laughs> <laughs> It's time for a quick break, but the guys will be right back here on the So You Want to Sell on eBay podcast. What's more exciting than starting your own eBay empire with one of Auction Pro Template's custom eBay store and listing template packages? How about saving yourself $200 when you do it? That's right. Right now, you can take advantage of starting your own totally custom eBay store for the insanely low price of $697 when you use promo code SAVE200 during checkout at auctionprotemplates.com. You still get all of the amazing features and benefits as before, like a custom-designed eBay store and matching custom eBay listing design, video tutorials, software, custom branding, one-year free hosting, and so much more. But now, you get to save yourself 200 bucks doing it. So celebrate the start of something awesome with $200 in savings when you order your very own custom eBay store and listing template package. Go to auctionprotemplates.com and check out all of the features and benefits of having a totally custom eBay store. And use promo code SAVE200 today. Life is full of numbers. Our brains process literally hundreds of numbers and equations every hour of every day. When it comes to your business, give your brain a break as well as peace of mind that the numbers are figuring up as they should with MyCost Pro. MyCost Pro is an easy-to-use automated eBay bookkeeping program for Excel that imports sales data directly from your seller account. MyCost Pro automatically generates accounting and performance reports to show you your true bottom line profit. You can even view and edit active listing details such as price and quantity and relist unsold items directly from MyCost Pro. All you need is Excel on your Windows PC. Take control of your business and free up those long nights of crunching the numbers. Visit MyCostPro.com for a 21-day no-obligation free trial using coupon code PODCAST. Exclusively for So You Want to Sell on eBay podcast listeners. We're back with more tips, insights, and interviews with Ron and Ali. What, What about, I mean, you mentioned you're doing like 10 hours every day. I mean, how... How do you manage the time thing? How do you how do you manage out right? I've got to get this sorted, and I've got to get that in the post office. I've got to go thrifting. I've got to go and eat. Jeez, I've got to eat as well. I mean, how do you how do you control all that stuff? You know, I manage it, but I'm not going to say I manage it well. Mm-hmm. Uh, for some reason, my pesky family thinks they have to eat every night. <laughs> right. Uh, you should I, come to right. Thailand. They have to eat ten times a day out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's rice, Ali. I mean, seriously. You know. I, do, I do try to do my eBay work first thing in the morning. So if I'm able to have my pictures done even the night before, then I'll do my listing in the morning. I do my shipping in the morning. Then by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, generally, I'm free to go ahead and do some housework, you know, laundry, cooking, that kind of thing. So I do. I really do have to balance it. 
it's not always easy, and I'm not going to say I'm great at it, mm -hmm. but I do the best that I can. No, yeah, I... and you know, I think one of the big, big misconceptions that a lot of people that just start out have is that, uh, you, you, I mean, they don't understand that you need to be that disciplined. I mean, you just explained to us exactly how disciplined you have to be. And, uh, you know, there are some really, really good freedoms that come with what you're doing, but it, it doesn't come without a price, and that price, I think, is discipline. Absolutely. I, you have to be able to make yourself do what you need to do and cook the dinner every night and do the laundry, <laughs> do the housekeeping. And, you know, so it's just one of those things that, you know, I try not to completely always have eBay on my mind, although it's there most of the time. But, um, right. you know, I do have a family and I have family time and I have a life as well. So it is hard work. But if you are able to, you know, really keep your nose to the grindstone and get it done, then you can do it. Anything's possible. Yeah. Oh, we've seen it. I mean, I'll tell you what, this is the luxury of doing this podcast show. We've met so many people who started with nothing and ended up with something. And we've learned over the years doing this that anything, anything is possible if you have the mindset and put towards it. Absolutely. And I'm not the biggest seller on eBay. I don't make a fortune. Um, right now, I pretty much just make enough to cover my bills, but I'm covering my bills. Mm. So that's what, you know, I kind of pat myself on the back because, you know, I'm getting my bills paid. Um, I don't want to be the biggest seller, but I want to be the best seller I can be. Nice. That's all you need to do. And you know what? The other thing about it, Lori, is that you are making, you know, you're, you're paying your bills, but along the way, you're also learning new tips and tricks. As you, every time you go to that Facebook group and every time somebody offers you advice or you see somebody else's advice, you learn that new tip or trick. And you know what? In a short period of time, you could easily, you know, double your, your income, you know, with short tips and tricks, you know? So, um, that's awesome. Keep, keep at it. That's, you're doing well. Thank you. So, um, Ali, are you there? I'm here. I'm. I'm. I'm just. Yeah. You, I'm. I'm taking just, it all in. I don't know what. I don't know what you're doing, man. I mean, no, it's, it's like it's you. Uh, you talk too much. I, I can't get in a word in edgeways. <laughs> yeah, is that what it is? Okay. <laughs> but it's, Fair enough, man. So that postman must love you, then. You know, I think they get really tired of me sometimes. Oh, to be honest. God, we gotta go to her <laughs> house again. Jeez. <laughs> yeah. Right. I mean, I I do have a pretty good post office, though. If I set my packages out, they'll go ahead and take them. I don't have to call them every night and say, I have packages tomorrow. Yeah. Well, that's awesome. Uh, yeah. So, so that makes it nice, but you know, I figure, you know, I'm, I'm keeping them employed too. So <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Now do you give them a box of cookies at Christmas time cookies. or anything? I generally give something homemade. Yes. Cookies. Cause I love cookies. Is that, is yeah, that, that, is that what your post, your postman, I mean, postman in England want money. They don't want cookies. <laughs> give postman me here want money. What am I supposed yeah. to postman do with these cookies? Getting cookies. <laughs> That's maybe what the problem was. I should have given him cookies. Nah, yeah, so, exactly. so where do you see yourself then in the future? Do you, you're obviously moving to Virginia and you're having that new life over there. Do you want to sort of expand this? Yes. Yes, I do. Um, I will have more room and more space there. I'll have a little bit more freedom with bills and that type of thing. So I definitely want to up the business a notch and see where it goes. Mm. Yeah, well, you're on the right track, it sounds like. I mean, you're definitely doing what you need to do. And uh, like I said, I mean, every time you learn something new, it's something that can, you know, increase your, your income and your business. Absolutely. There are things out there that I have no idea what they are. And somebody will say, you know, be on the lookout for this. And, and I'm just kind of floored by what people <laughs> find. You know, it, it's kind of interesting, but I keep my eyes open, you know, yeah. I pay attention. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, you know, it is It is interesting because, you know, you look at people's Facebook, I mean, I'm sorry, eBay stores, and you find this little nugget or something, and it's like, how can that be worth $1,300? You know, it's just a, you know, whatever. It's a widget, but it's like, you know, but it's worth that, and they sell them, and it's like, wow, I'd have never guessed that, you know, but uh, exactly. it happens all the time. Absolutely. Um, one of my best finds was Victoria's Secret used to do their displays, and they had the big dogs that they displayed. They're about three feet tall and about five feet long. I found one of those for six dollars, and I sold her for four hundred. Oh, wow. love it! And it that was in awesome. pretty rough shape. It had a lot of, you know, had uh, had tears and it was dirty. But I still sold her for four hundred dollars. So that was a <laughs> really good find. Yes, no doubt. That's cool. That'll get your adrenaline running for yeah. a week, right? 
too late. <laughs> that, that, that must That's be awesome. the part that keeps you going, isn't it? That must be the part like, wow, there must be another one out there. It is. I mean, they're not all home runs, but, you know, the, the little little ones add up, too. It's nice to get the big ones, but the little ones add up. It sounds like an addiction. Yes. It is. <laughs> yeah, 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 definitely. So you, you're not, you never thought of maybe bringing someone else on board with you, sort of helping you do the listing part and stuff like that? Like your daughter who just graduated high school? Yeah, looking well, for extra cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's taking some pictures for me once in a while, um, but the problem is, again, I'm really picky. Oh, oh yeah, no, me and Ron Ali, had that problem. We had that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, you know, so it's kind of like I kind of really feel like I need to do it myself. I've been doing it for so long. I've definitely gotten better at it. Um, but, you know, I just don't know that anybody else would really do the kind of job I want done. <laughs> wow. Okay. Well, hey, as long as you understand that and uh, accept the responsibility, then, hey, you know what? That's awesome. Yeah, that's kind of what you know, the way I do it. And if I'm ever in a position maybe to get even like a virtual assistant or something, yep. you know, I might try that, but I'm just not sure how it would work out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Now those virtual assistants, uh, they, they come in handy. We've actually got one called Jara and she is an absolute godsend. I'm telling you. I mean, it's changed the everything. best. We, we, the thing we had a problem with, um, Laurie was, is that we thought we should, we need to do everything. And then we, we soon found out that we're probably better off doing the stuff we're good at and letting someone else do the stuff that they're good at, you know? I'm only sure do the things that only you can do, Jim Cockerham says. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure that's true. Yeah, so. Exactly. You can also go to uh, free up. We got If you go to say you want to sell on ebay.com forward slash free up, that's a uh, Nathan guy we interviewed on the show. He also does um, services of virtual assistants. It comes in, you know, it's great just having someone. Because isn't the listing part the boringest? I mean, isn't that the part where, oh, God, i got to put another pair of pajamas on? <laughs> um, you know, I actually, I really kind of don't mind the listing part itself. <laughs> so, um, you know, I don't, I don't know what I'd have somebody help me with, honestly. Right. I just enjoy doing it all, except the bookkeeping. Let's get an assistant for the bookkeeping. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Virtual system. Virtual system for the bookkeeping. I'm sure Nathan can help you with that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so that's brilliant. Well, we've, I mean, we've run out of time here, um, jo uh, Laurie. And it's, do you know what I love about you? I can see in your face how much love and passion you have for this. You know, it just glows out of you. I mean, no one else can see you. They can only hear you, but. It, it just shows that you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're having fun. You're supporting the, the family. And oh, good luck to you, Laurie. I hope we can get you back on the show one day when you're, you're out in... Where are you going again? I, I forget. Virginia. When you're out in Virginia, you know, and you've got that warehouse, you know, you've got your 15 <laughs> VA workers. We'd love to have you back. Seriously, Laurie, thanks for spending the time with us. Thank you very much. It was a lot of fun. I appreciate it. We'll post all the yep. notes from today's interview on our show notes page, which can be found at www.soyouwannasellonebay.com forward slash show notes. Laurie, before you leave, how can everyone get in contact with you? They can visit www.littledovetradingpost.com and that'll go straight to my store or they can find me on Facebook or Twitter, all at Little Dove Trading Post. Excellent. Well, we'll make sure all of that's added to the show notes page. Plus, also, we have a new resources page on the website. Go check that out. That, that mentions things like free up with the virtual assistants and also the MyCost Pro that we mentioned in the podcast. Check it out. From everyone here at So You Want to Sell on eBay, I'm Ali Young. And I'm Ron LeBeau. That's all for this episode of So You Want to Sell on eBay. Be sure to check out our next episode or any past episodes by going online to SoYouWantToSellOnEbay.com. Also, be sure to follow us on your favorite social media sites, Facebook.com forward slash So You Want to Sell on eBay and Twitter at Your eBay Podcast. Thanks for listening. And until next time, happy selling. Have an idea for a topic or know someone who would like to be on the show? Let us know. Just go to www.soyouwantosellonebay.com forward slash interview. We look forward to hearing from you. This podcast was produced in part by Pro Voice Works.